trick us. They trick our minds. We believe. If they say something about crime, we don't believe it. We don't believe it. We're so busy looking at these damn phones. Okay? You see the Ben Apple? It's the devil. That's why I said we get some. You see the Ben Apple? Don't get, don't get, don't get it twisted, homie. If we do not come together, That's right. together, where's the march? Martin Luther King marched. Right. When the last time we've seen a march, Mark? Like you say, when the last time somebody was well, talking to kids, when the last time we've seen. Ready. No, 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 homie. It didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. was sit back and be attacked from Friday to today. But I'm being attacked by people who got 600 views that's trying to build their channel. I'm being attacked by people that got 100 views trying to build their channel. I'm attacked by folks that want to lie just to try to build their channel off of Dana J. However, out of everything I heard, this whole weekend, out of all the bullshit, out of all the rhetoric, out of all of the fake whatever, right? I heard one thing that made sense. And Man. the one thing was, this person said, Dana J, you don't gotta argue with nobody to prove a point. You don't owe nobody shit. I'm gonna be right. honest with you. To hear that come from somebody that really tried to destroy my credibility made me sit back and think, like, what is the overall message this brother or this sister is trying to relay? What's the overall message? Because while everybody listening to the overtone, I'm listening to the undertone. And what that well, person said made a lot of fucking sense. And I'm sitting back like, right. I heard it before. But to hear it in that tone and to hear it from that direction, I said, okay, that's cool. But once again, as I said, that's the hardest thing I ever had to do. I'm used to pulling up when there's a problem. I'm just taking the flights coming to you when it's a problem. I understand, I understand, I understand. But to be slandered, but, and I'm going to keep it real with you. Not to cut you off, Levi, again, but here's my thing. Man. To be slandered in a way that when people is doing good for a cause and it can deter somebody's mind to turn away from somebody and you don't feel no type of reaction. It's it's like okay, and you want to, okay, fine, cool. But all that is, brother. I mean to cut you off, but all that is is absolute validation. That's all. I've experienced it all my life. My cousin Rob has experienced it all of his life, especially through his music career. He's experienced it. I've seen it, and I, it's so funny how I used to be like you. I used to get upset when if someone looked at him hard or said some shit, I would get very upset. And it took time for me to understand his mind and how he handles things. When he says that elephants don't swat flies, that's true. That's absolutely that's, true. That's true. You feel me? But that's true. It, it, but I'm going to say it, this, Levi. Yes, sir. But, but I'm going to say this, not to cut you off. Why would you paint a negative person, a, a negative picture, about a person and then spread it to people and then make it be believable. In other words, what you're doing is you stopping or trying to prevent something good for somebody well, that you claim to support. Bro, you have to go it. back to the origin. You have to go back to the origin, bro. You have to go back to... I always try to go back to the root of something. You have to understand, every human being that exists on Earth right now, if you go back 200 years, one, none of us here. Think about some what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to get real deep with this. I'm just trying to show you the origin of this. Nobody that's on the planet living today 
was here 200 years ago. There are trees and rocks and mountains and all kind of uh, infrastructure from a um, natural landscape right. perspective that was here and we weren't here. But those same principles, those same demonic forces existed generations and generations and generations back. So when you go to the root of it, you just said it. You know, why would a person try to slander and try to convince other people? All you got to do is go back to the book of Genesis in the Bible. Notice something. See, I observe people. I observe how they move. I observe how they speak. And normally when a person is jealous, when, when, when that form of uh, perverted jealousy, that insidious poison that exists within them, spiritually, normally they follow the same exact, exact, blueprint as Satan. They follow the same exact blueprint as the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Now, what is that blueprint? That blueprint is if you study the serpent in the Garden of Eden and you study his words, as I have done, you will notice that he mixed truth with lies. He mixed truth with lies. And, and the people that I've seen come at you, especially, I'll listen to it, and they'll, I'll listen to it for a minute, then I'll turn it off, because they'll mix certain things, and then they'll mix it with a lie, because a lie is the most potent demonic force, and jealousy and a lie, those two mixed together, are the most potent forces, spiritual forces in the world. So I don't care how much milk you have. If you put some coffee, you can have a gallon of milk, and you put a cup of coffee in that gallon of milk, you have coffee. You don't have milk no more because the coffee is more potent than the milk. Lies and jealousy and deceit, all of these demonic forces are more potent than everything on the planet except truth. Man, listen to me, brother. Truth, the only problem with this world and the only problem with the, pe the, 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 the people, some of the people that you're talking about and those who uh, listen to them, those who uh, are easily influenced, the only problem is that we live in a world where falsehood, lies, jealousy, deceit, Cunningness, cut through all these things that Jesus talked about. We live in a world that allows these things to exist because the world is uh, environmentally set up for these things, these demonic forces to exist. The world atmospher <laughs> atmospherically, the atmosphere, the spiritual atmosphere in which we live, notice something. When someone says something good about someone in this world, people don't want to hear that shit. But if someone says something bad about someone, everybody's listening. We have a president who rose to power just by his, his first campaign speech when he announced he was running for president. I sat there and I watched it. He talks about the Mexicans, you know, they a bunch of rapists and killers, and he starts vilifying races and groups. And people started to listen. People started to gravitate towards him. I'm getting to my point. Listen, this world is set up on falsehood, Satan's world. But the only force that can combat it and destroy it is truth. But truth in this world has to struggle. Truth has to be presented. Truth has to be uh, presented in a proper form. Truth has to find its way. Like my cousin right now, we can sit down, you and I, and write down a thousand lies that were told. But apparently people believe the lies because they muted his song. Not everyone, but people believed it because that whole mute R. Kelly movement has been successful thus far. I was talking to some young people the other day at the swimming pool at the hotel. And we sitting there talking or whatever, and I said, what y'all think about R. Kelly? It was five of them 
all five of them said, oh, he, that they don't know he's my cousin. I'm just, you know, picking their brains. Oh, these are black uh, young people. All five of them just, yeah, lock him up. He should have been locked up. This and the third. So my assistant, she started to say something like, well, first I said, no, be cool, be cool, listen. And I told her, don't say a word. And I said, so why do you think he should be locked up? Everything that they said, man, was what they were told. Everything. When they got 20 tapes and this and the third, everything was rumor, conjecture, and outright lies, man. But they were regurgitating this because that's the world in which we live now. He has to struggle. This is what the Dollar for the King campaign will be doing. All that's about. But I'll get into that in a minute. He has to struggle to tell his side of the story. He has to struggle. He has to, he has to go through all this hell in order to present the truth in court and to the public forum. He has to go through hell and high water just to produce the truth. A truth that we should all know. We should already know that this is a bunch of bullshit. But that's not the world that we live in. So when the operative word that you use was destroy your credibility. Well, credibility is not what we say we have. Credibility is what we show. And this is what I'm saying to you. That if you have good, I don't have good credit. <laughs> I got excellent credit. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have good credit. You feel me? I got excellent credit. But my assistant, she has good credit. But the difference between my assistant and I is that she was raised that way. I, you know, most of us who was raised in the hood, we weren't thinking about no damn credit. But credit is credit. So when, when you walk in, they look at your credit history. Well, Dana J., your credit history shows that you have been the most outspoken the only one that's been out there on the front line advocating for my cousin Rob, for R. Kelly. You're the only one. That's your credibility. Now, the next question is, is if you have a black card, which is unlimited credit. I got one of those. Why would you, I got one of, why would you take the black card into the damn dollar store and when they Say what it didn't go through. You're going to stand there at a dollar store with a black card arguing with some people at a damn dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> you, if you understand, you have a, you have a limited, a limited credit, but you're going to stand there in a dollar store. That's not true. You know what this is? This is a black card, man. What the fuck? You feel me? I know That's where, insane. I know where you're going with this. And technically, I'm going <laughs> to be honest with you. I feel stupid by going back and forth with these folks when I know I got the unlimited black card personally in person and metaphorically, and I got the unlimited credit connectively. Exactly. Person. So exactly. But before I go ahead, bro, go ahead. No, nah, I was just saying I get it, and 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 it's like it killed me because at the rally, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I seen folks throwing hate in the game, but I ain't worried about that. But what really got me is that I seen what could have been. I seen what could have been. And to see how quick the enemy stepped in to destroy that, that hurt me. That destroyed me because, <laughs> oh, because the plans that I had was far beyond what we did that weekend and the plans I had getting ready to go in motion. But I looked at it like, all right, but I can't stop the plan. I'm going to just go ahead and put forth. And I mean, and we're going to go forward with it. And the enemy just went hard. So my thing is the hardest thing that I had to do was when my Mason brothers reached out to me, what they said was, you don't say nothing. I'm going off like Ray Charles went off when they tried to take his money and he couldn't see that shit, but he felt it. Yo, I felt the pain of folks sitting back. Oh, Dana J this. And the thing is, I started reading comments. 
and some of these same folks that's in my inbox, Dana J, oh, when you come in town, you can come to my house and I'll do this and I'll do that and we can do this. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. The same folks that's turning around, persecute him, persecute him. I knew he was a fraud. I knew this. I knew that. Bro, there's nothing about me I have ever frauded, ever will, ever need to be. I pay my way through I, every god. I understand that, brother, but listen to me what I find with you, and I'm going to say this, brother. And I'm, you know, I keep it a buck with you. Just like I would, I know my cousin has always kept it a buck with you. And right. like I said, when I speak, I have to speak from an OG perspective. I would be absolutely, uh, inauthentic and I would be totally in error if I did not speak to you as he would speak to you. And I'm going to tell you this, man, what I have observed, and that is, you would like to have unity with snakes, demons, and devils. You would like to have unity with people who are snakes, demons, and devils. You would like, you don't see the demon in them, the devil in them, the snakes. You just see, well, I would, I would prefer unity. Right. But I'll ask you a question. When Satan rebelled in heaven and God knew that several of the angels were siding with Satan. God did not allow them to remain in heaven. God didn't say, well, I'm going to work it out with y'all. God expelled them from heaven. You could never have, because heaven wouldn't be heaven with them in it. Right. So he expelled them, and they were casted down to the earth, and this is why... You see people going crazy as hell, backbiting, jealous. This, all of this escalated because these are demonic forces, brother. These spiritual beings that were casted down had to take habitation somewhere, and they've taken habitation in human beings. So I'll say this to you, brother. Please stop. Try, stop uh, wanting unity. Don't just be desirous of that. You unify with those who are right. You unify with those who are decent. Anyone, if anyone says something about me and someone believes it based on what they said about Levi, I'm not going to try to convince you that what they said is not true because if you're not man enough or woman enough to come directly to me and say, is that true what they said? Then, if you're that damn weak-minded, go on. Because like I've said a thousand times, I don't roll with no damn fool. You're a fool. You can't roll with me. Right. Now, I will get you an Uber. I will get you a Lyft. I will give you some bus passes. But you can't roll with me if you're a damn fool. Now, everything that you've done as it relates to your credibility has been the strongest as it relates to advocacy for R. Kelly. That's factual. That's factual. So I think that you're missing something here, and that is you don't understand whenever you're the, the best and the strongest in anything, you can expect for people to come at you to destroy. But all you got to do is keep doing what you do. All you got to do is, as it relates to your credibility, is walk out of the dollar store and say, well, one thing I know for sure is that their damn credit card machine is broken. Because I just left this, I just left Tavern on the Green. I just left Lakeshore Drive. I just was all through Beverly Hills, California, buying this and that and that and this. And you trying to tell me that machine wouldn't accept my card? The machine is broken. It's not my card. And you walk out and you smile and you let it go like that. Understand some, bro. Jealousy is a very dangerous thing. And it has caused the death and destruction and the lives of more people on this planet throughout the annals of history than anything. Well, why did Satan rebel? Why did Satan, it was all jealousy. The Bible says, as you said, since you set yourself up to be a God besides God. God says to Satan, I'm going to bring you so low that when the people see you, they're going to say, wait a minute. 
Is this the man that made the earth shake? In other words, God is going to reduce him to the point where people are going to be like, I know I wasn't fearing this. Okay, it's the same way with these people, bro. Understand something. I, I have to say this, and I'm sorry for belaboring my point, but I want to get through to you with this. Jealousy is a potent, dangerous thing. And when someone shows you that, you just leave them alone, keep it moving, do what you do. I understand you're younger. You're not my cousin's age. You're not my age. You're not our age. You're not, you, you know, you have to grow into this thing, man. When I was your age, I was shit. Nigga, I would jump off the porch in a minute. I would jump the gate in a second. But even then, my cousin Rob has never been that way. And that, it used to baffle me. He's never been quick to, like, what's up? He's never been that. Because he understood that which I did not at a younger age. Yeah, when I walk in, niggas grimming me, mean mugging, and it's that. <laughs> that man, <laughs> well, no homo, but that man is so damn nice looking. You know that, that man dresses so damn nice. That man, shit, walked in expecting it. Do you understand me, bro? Right. He walked in expecting Expecting that because you know one of the nicest looking men you ever come across, no homo, nigga, nice looking, always kept himself up, always well dressed. So I'm behind him and I'm mad, and he walking in front of me. He ain't mad because he shit, nigga. I expected this when I came in here. All these damn women lined up to the left and right. You understand? <laughs> All right, so listen, bro. I got off subject. My point is that man look. Do not allow these snakes to get to you. There's a story. Understand some snakes cannot live at a high uh, altitude. They can't. Google it. Snakes don't listen. I study these things, bro. Guess what? Snakes do not generate their own heat. Snakes must live in certain humid environments. They need humidity, humidity, heat, because they don't generate their own heat. So when you take a snake, there's a whole story. A guy, got he gets in a plane, and he's talking to the tower. I'm taking off. He takes off. The man gets uh, uh, 3,000 feet in the air. He notices the snake is, is in a plane. He calls down to the tower. Oh, there's a snake in here. The a snake in here. He's a poisonous snake. I'm about to land the plane. The guy at the traffic control said, whatever you do, do not land that plane. What, what's your altitude? I'm at five, I'm at 6,000 feet. Go up higher. He went up to 10,000 feet. The snake backed up off of him. What is the snake doing? The guy asked him. He, he kind of backed up. All right, go, what, what, what's your altitude? I'm at 12,000 feet. Go up to 20,000. He gets up to 20,000. The snake started to shake. What is he doing? Now he's just shaking around. He, he, he's discombobulated. All right, go up to 25,000 feet, damn it. He go up to 25,000 feet, and the snake is just on his, just laying there, unconscious, damn near shaking. What is he doing? He's about out. Go up to 30,000 feet, damn it. He get up to 30,000 feet, the snake is totally out of it. Dead. The man said, okay, you see the little hatch right there in the window? Pick up the snake and throw the damn snake out. Had he tried to land that plane, the snake would have bitten him and killed him. But he was talking to someone in the traffic control, control tower who understood snakes. He understood because he was raised on a farm. Snakes cannot live at a high altitude, Dana. And all you got to do is take it high. All you got to do, snakes, can listen to these words and Google what I'm saying. Snakes do not produce their own heat. Human beings, mammals, we produce our own heat. Meaning you could be in a cold environment, put some thermal blankets on you, and your, your body is producing heat. Snakes don't produce their own heat. Just like these haters, these goddamn trolls. People sitting back watching your page, watching my page. You niggas 
are watching our pages and spinning venom like snakes do and doing what to do because you don't put you're not <laughs> you're not producing your own heat, baby. As they say in the hood, as the young folks would say, y'all niggas ain't lit. We lit. We lit. They're not lit because they can't light nothing. They can't produce their own heat. All you got to do is go up higher, man, and keep it going. And all that other stuff will fall into place, bro. You understand? But I want to, I got to take this baby, excuse me, but I want to comment. I want you to respond to what I just said. Then I want to jump on this uh, dollar for the king to explain to everyone absolute clarity what this is about. Because I've heard the little seeds being dropped of people trying to say we trying to get money for this, that, and that stuff. Um, I want to explain that, but then I want you to respond to what I just um, said. Then I want to break this whole dollar for the king thing down, bro. Go ahead. Only thing I got to say about that is, is, is you telling the truth? It's just I'm trying to get to where y'all, at. and 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 it's hard because I, I'm not used to that. I'm used to action. I'm not used to that. I understand. But, but I mean, I'm just learning now. Like, I'm learning on some real stuff now. Like, sometimes, you know, it's, is is you know what I mean? I look at Please understand me. It's no big deal. Just keep doing what you're doing, bro. Just keep what you're doing, doing what you're doing. This is not about no motherfucking clout. And, and they know it ain't about no damn clout. I've said it on my channel, shit. I would love to be able to come off YouTube and not have to do this shit. But I'm a fight tooth and nail to the death Man. that my cousin is free. And I know you are. You feel me? All day, every day. All day, every day. And it's getting me to the point where I don't want to take it out on the... I don't want to take the BS that's going on out on the fans and the supporters but that rock with me but that know the truth but it's like sometimes yo I just want to go like straight underground and say hell with everybody and just do what I do with my team well, and just for Rob and just say forget everything else but I know that's not fair to the folks exactly. that really support him so so that's the reason why I'm really I'm really, but that's not the reason, but that's one of the main ingredients of why I fight so hard so people can know the authentic, the authentic of, of, of what's going on. And, and it just seemed like, yo, every time I put a perfect crab cake out there, all these haters want to put the fluff in. And, and, and I keep saying it like now I got that eagle vision. Now that I got that eagle vision, I don't want no new friends. Listen to what I'm saying, man. Uh, if you truly love my cousin, and I know you do, then you have to do, we have to do what he would do, and that is ignore it. Right. If, if we truly love him, which we do, we have to keep charging forward. We have to keep making sure that we get this Dollar for the King campaign solidified where this man's legal defense bond, that cut, will be running over. You understand? And here's my thing so about I gotta, that. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Again, I'm going to just touch on it real quick because people think that folks is not in conversation with each other. So I got a call a day, right? I got a call. And people was like, and the call that I got, the person was laughing on the other end. And it was like, yo, right. yo, you supposed to be stealing money, yo? Cause I was like, huh? And he was like, man, these folks is beyond crazy. And then he gave me the link to it. So I ain't paying no attention, but I went back to sleep. And that person said, yo, I got caught today. So, um, I'm going to go to court and I'm going to hit you up later. Cause we're going to process some more stuff. I said, all right, cool. So then one of the, one of the people from my team hit me and said, Dana, I'm just letting you know, this is what's circling around. So I looked at the link. I said, hey, let me hit this link. Because I see both links. So I hit both links one at a time. It's the same idiot talking about, oh, we got to call R. Kelly's lawyers. And we got to see Dana J. stealing money. Dana, let me, let me explain something. 
I'm going to just ask the real logic of this. I said a white a, a white affair kickback in Chicago for the supporters and fans that come out to the rally. I'm paying for the venue out of my money. My own money. I'm taking from my pocket. I said, let's start a dollar. It costs a dollar to get in. All proceeds, not half, not 25, not 50, not 75. All proceeds go to Doug Anton. I'm the only one, the only one that put up where it go to, along with him too, and along with Kel's Angels. I find it funny that this same idiot goes to my channel and take videos to try to discredit me and then gets with other bloggers. <laughs> and then I'm looking at the thread and I'm looking at the comments like, yo, this blogger saying this, this blogger saying that, that blogger saying that. One blogger but that was on there really, I really, I really felt some kind of way because I really looked up to this blogger channel because this blog is raw, uncut. Now, I got to look at it for what it is. If you lay in bed with snakes, you're going to be bitten sooner or later. Therefore, I choose not to deal with anybody that deal with them snakes. At the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, they are taking my words and trying to twist it. And Doug Anton said, well, is Dana saying send them away to him? And then it's like, uh, 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 no, it's these third party joint. What third party? A dollar for the king? It's for R. Kelly Defense Fund. That's something that me and, let's see, you, Levi, and let's see, the defense team we already done talked about. Why? And I find it funny, and I'm put it out there. A certain person is in certain people's ear and got certain people going on, and I'm not going to say no name because I refuse to give this clown any credibility. He's going around telling folks, oh, uh, uh, send it to the RSK fund. No, we're not doing that. Then they're going around saying, Rob got a whole nother lawyer. No, we're not doing that. At the end of the day, I thought it was a credibility by me sharing with folks some of the truth of what's going on. I would never tell what's going on within the camp, but some of the positive stuff I thought I can put out there now. I done shut the case closed. I heard the people. I see the people. <laughs> I put like this. The worst thing you can do is turn on somebody that's 100% genuine. You, you only get that one chance when it comes to me. Some people I gave two chances to, but okay. Oh, but now I ain't giving nobody a chance to do none of that no more. I got you, bro. I just don't get it. I got you. So now I'm stealing money, and these motherfuckers uh, scared to show face through a computer. But I'm stealing money. Think about it. Then they sit back and say, "Oh well." You can't trust Levi because he can't show face. But you on that other channel talking about, oh, we support you so much. We support you so much. And that person ain't never show you nothing but a sunflower. Brother, what I'm saying is that, brother, let me tell you something, my dude. Um, <laughs> everyone seen my face for one, but they don't know how. I, I might have a beard down in my damn chest right now. They don't know. How I'm presenting myself now, because like I said, I move a certain way after certain threats were made and things of that sort. Threats that I don't fear. I don't fear no threat. Mm -hmm. I know how to move, bro. You know what I'm saying? These are street rules that I live by. However, I'll say it again. Those who say that you are scanning money in this and the third, but you ain't got to listen. Show me. Please show me one flyer. Show me one case on social media where you and I have launched the Dollar for the King campaign. We haven't launched that yet. I mentioned it. And the reason why, 
and, and the reason you yeah, we you mentioned it, I've mentioned it, but we've mentioned it, but but we have not launched it because we're waiting for Attorney Anton's lead. But wait a minute, Levi. You want our conversation? Wait, 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 Go ahead, bro. Wait, say that again because you know some folks ain't turning their hearing aids up and they going to still say, "Oh, they do." No, no, no. Say it again. Well. During our correspondence, our conversations with Attorney Antine, it was very clear. We made it very clear to him, and he made it very clear to us that once he, uh, matter of fact, let me go back. The conversation went like this. When I spoke with you, I said, wait a minute, Attorney Antine, from what I see, he only has a, 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 a mailing address where checks can be sent. Bro. Let's hold up on the Dollar for the King campaign until we touch bases with him so that he can establish a the PayPal thing. You know, that 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 yeah, that sort. And Doug and said, said matter of fact, and Doug and you, you, said. You, 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 yeah. No, no, let me back up. Okay. You said, Oh, well let me call him. <laughs> we sit on the phone, you call him. Like that, boom. You click back over. It's me, you, it's Levi from Levi for Kelly. It's Dana J and Attorney Anton on the phone together. You said, Attorney Anton, Levi has something to say to you. I said, how you doing, Attorney Anton? Look at here. I see on here where you have the uh, mailing address for checks to be sent. But our campaign, A Dollar for the King, we are trying to reach... Not trying to. We are going to reach the masses with this, asking them to donate a dollar. And in order for them to do that, they're going to need, uh, you know, PayPal information. They're going to need a way to pay with their credit card. Before I could finish the sentence, he says, Levi, I was already up on that. I was just thinking the same thing. I'm going to get that established. As soon as I get it established, I'll give you guys the information. Thanks. Stop right there. This is why no flyers have been printed or anything because we need that information to put on the damn advertisement, the advertising. And that's the hold Meaning up. Meaning what? And that's the hold up for my Meaning, flyers coming out. That's right. Meaning what? Meaning once this Dollar for the King campaign drop, people, listen to me very closely. Please be clear on this. The only payment Direction and source on this flyer, everything that we're promoting from Levi for Kelly to Dana J and whoever else is sincere about this. Where it go, Levi? The dollar for the king, pardon me? I said, where it go to? It's going directly to attorney Ant uh, Anton Legal Defense Fund for Robert Kelly, for R. Kelly. Not one dollar can even be rerouted my way your way, or anyone that's rolling with us their way. I wouldn't have one person on my team that said, well, donate the money to me, then I'll send it to hell no. The, let me say it again. The Dollar for the King campaign is a subsidiary of Attorney Anton's Legal Defense Fund for Robert Kelly, R. Kelly, which means what? All we're doing is directing people with the dollar for the king to send that dollar, to send your dollar and everyone's dollars, millions of dollars directly to that legal defense fund set up by attorney Anton, which means there will be no pit stops. There is going to be a one-way direct uh, dollar or ten dollars, or a hundred dollars, whoever want to send whatever is going directly to Attorney Anton for my cousin's legal defense fund. It's not going to be rerouted. There's not going to be going to be a non-stop flight. No layovers. It's going to, in other words, myself, Dana, or no one else will be able to touch a penny. That would be unethical. That would be inauthentic. That would make us. Outright frauds, and more importantly, it would mean that we have no love for my cousin Rob. But you know what, None. Levi? But you know what, Levi? But I guess we gotta be on hangout, scamming people, claiming to be R. Kelly, and for folks to really believe that we telling the truth. 
man, hell no. I stand with dignity. I stand with pride. I don't play these games. I don't. And, and, and can I look at it like if you're not for Rob, just make it be known and get the hell on. Cause anytime, that's what I'm going to say. At no point do I take credit for nothing that's going on. Even though folks be saying, Dana, are you doing the most work? Look, I find it disrespectful right. that the Me Too movement, folks on the Me Too movement is hitting me on Twitter and openly saying it. We going to contact Dana J and see if he will do a story with us and rock with us because we see yeah. the way the R. Kelly fans are treating him. Yo, that's disrespectful, bro. And, and I had to respond. And my response was, this is the wrong tree. I'm ten toes deep for Raw. Hold on. I will never waver, fold, or move in any other type of direction. But, no doubt. but what's killing me is this right here. And I'm going to let this be known from the gate. I've seen the comments of folks and it did hurt. It did hurt. I ain't gonna lie. But after the conversation I had last night with the guy, the conversation went like this. I love the rally. The rally was on point. It gave me another sense of drive. But baby boy, you know better. Never entertain a shit show again. I understand. And, and you're right, but what I don't want you to do is be discouraged by, by <laughs> whatever you do, brother, don't be discouraged, brother. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to me very clear. I, I want to drive this point home again very clearly. I got to say this one more time. On my channel, see, <laughs> Oh, man, I have to laugh at this because I'm going to tell you why I'm laughing. We've sent both you and I and everyone else and seen these people lie on my cousin. They lie on Rob like it's like just lying. Outright lies. Like it's water under the bridge. Like right? just outright lies. And you can see the inconsistencies in the lies, but some people still tend to say, well, play around with it. Listen, man. What is this? If anyone can find and show me one place on my channel where I've said send money to Levi for Kelly for R. Kelly's legal defense fund, I will give you $5,000 right damn now. I will do All you got to do is email me and show me where I said that. And I will send you a damn five thousand dollars, not only a check, but a cashier's check. And you know from what? From the bank in your name. And you know what, Levi? I think I'm gonna take you up on that offer, cause then I'm gonna take it a step further. <laughs> I'm gonna take it a step further, cause folks saying Dana J stealing money on that idiot channel that got six hundred and something views. It might have seven something now because she said Dana J. So every time you mention well, my please. name. It builds your channel. So I'm a thing. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put it that keep using my name. You know what I mean? Because you want to build your channel when this is about views for most of these folks. Okay. All right. So quit talk. Just don't even talk about it no more. Just, right. just let them go. Right. You know, okay. But go ahead and make your point, bro. Go ahead. I'm going to make my point and I'm going to go with it. I find it funny how. <laughs> The same people in the comments saying, girl, I'm glad you pointed this out. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you tell the truth. But then the comment was, well, can you send me the information where I can donate the money and send my money to? And it's blank. Here's what I'm going to say publicly, since you did it publicly. Go to my page and steal that video showing where to send it to. And for all the people that follows that, I thank y'all because that lets me know that the elevator's on, but it don't stop on all floors. Exactly. There's no way I'm going to follow somebody who say something but can't give me a resolution. Dana J no said, doubt. send everything to Doug Antoine. 
Everybody said, Dana, where can I post it at? All right, g g g give me a minute. I'm going to send it to your inbox, and I'm going to upload it. I did both. Man, let me tell you That's something. a resolution let me to an answer, let to me a tell problem. Damn. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I've had people hit me up on my email and say, on the first of the month, on the second of the month, I'm going to send you $100. And I've responded to them saying, do not send me $100. Don't send me a dollar. Now, I have said, hopefully, I don't even, if you notice, I don't be saying even, I don't say that donation shit no more because I'm going to tell you why. When I first started out on YouTube, I heard everybody else saying it like, well, donate to my channel because I thought it was like a fee. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I thought that YouTube was going to send me a bill. I don't know. I'm like, damn. Then my uh, sister started breaking it down to me. I was like, I ain't saying that shit no more. I mean, with all due respect, I'm not disrespecting nobody. But niggas see what, right? niggas know how, where I live. Niggas know where I live. Niggas know, you know what I'm saying? I have accepted $2, $3 uh, on my channel as far as donations. And guess what? $10, $50. I'll go straight and get, and get, excuse me, gift cards. Excuse me, gift cards. Gift cards for my favorite, uh, coffee house. Gift cards for my baby's favorite restaurant. She got more than one, the, the little girl. Right. And I'll let her know what the subscribers or whatever, the people on YouTube pay for this or whatever. But as far as you know, donations and stuff, bro, go, go reference all my last videos. Shit, I don't even say that shit, bro. I ain't thinking about that. The only thing I'm concerned with is my cousin being free. The only thing I'm concerned with at this juncture, more importantly than anything, this is legal defense fund. And you can best believe if they had any of if these haters and these trolls and these uh, so-called bloggers or whatever, if they had any words coming out of your mouth and my mouth especially, saying Levi for Kelly is saying send money for his R. Kelly's legal defense fund to him. That, that should be all over the internet. I've never said it. I've never saw it. I got the email prior to speaking with Attorney Anton. I can put the email on my channel. Well, I said to him, in order for me to make sure that the money is directed to you, I need to be clear on something. That when I promote this, I myself or no other bloggers will have access to a penny of that. All I want is information to direct it to you. My only concern was that people like Drea and, and individuals like that, which he's an attorney and he's already dotted his eyes and already crossed his T's, where they would not have any access to it. That's my only concern. But as far as uh, anyone, any blogger, me promoting, you promoting it, and then bloggers are using a dollar for the king, telling people to send the money to them, if you, if anybody that does that will be held accountable legally. Here's so the dollar for the king is a real campaign. We ain't playing with this shit. Does anybody want to try to hijack it for, for their own personal benefit? They're going to be held accountable legally because that money is being directed directly to attorney Anton and his uh, legal defense fund for my cousin. Now go ahead, brother. Here's my thing. Rob have over 50 billion fans, supporters, followers, and he got uh, some friends, family. If everybody gave a dollar for the dollar for the king, when the specialists got to come in to do what they got to do, they can be paid off the brick. Don't nobody got scrape money. Don't nobody got to feel like Somebody going to come into a half-assed job because they get the the money right there. Second thing is this. In order to get top-notch service to vindicate the king of R&B, who people claim that they're going to support or that they are supporting, you have to get top-notch dollar specialists. There's no way, and I'm going to, 
and and I'm gonna tap into my inner Levi. There's no way uh uh I can go to court uh and have <laughs> and have a, uh and have a murder trial going and I need a a gun specialist to come and do a gun specialist, but I can only have money for a fingerprinting specialist. It's not gonna exactly. happen. It's exactly. not gonna happen. Exactly. So hey, 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 stop right there, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I'm glad you said that. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. So my point is people can say what they want. They can do what they want. But you have never seen Levi for Kelly or Dana J or him too or Let's keep it real. Kells Angels asks anybody for a dollar to send to them. Everything has been directed to Doug Anton. Now, what I can no say about it. Now, what I can say is, I've seen people that's in these groups, and if I call names, everybody be like, "Oh, I've seen and I've intercepted people from these groups." That got money sent to their house directly, and they were proclaiming to be R. Kelly, uh, and they were pro- proclaiming to be R. Kelly lawyers, uh, assistants. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. But I, I want to lose this thought real quick. Go ahead. Uh, for one, for one, you just said it, and and in my correspondence with Attorney at time, that's exactly what I said prior to him even saying it. I said, I know you're going to have to hire the best specialist. When it comes to every aspect of the prosecution's case, which means they may have to order voice analysis, people who only deal with voice analysis, people who only deal with DNA, people who only deal with the, the, the higher forms of things, mitochondria, mitochondria DNA, those who really get deep in DNA. Those who be, are able to listen to voice patterns and handwriting specialists, and it's either going to require the best specialists produced from the higher halls of academia, from Harvard, from Yale, from Oxford. These are going to be the top people that are going to be able to refute and shoot down everything that the prosecution is doing, understanding, especially with the federal prosecutors, they have unlimited, quote-unquote, I say, quote, unquote, because the only thing that is unlimited in this world is God's blessing. But well, they got quote, allocated unquote, unlimited. Un- they got allocated resources. Yes. Resources, exactly. So I, I, I have to say this, that um, that's what the money's for, and that's where it's going directly to Attorney Anton's legal defense fund for our county. Now, listen, I don't want to digress, but I have to say this to show you who you're dealing with out here. What could be in the mind of an individual that will cause them to contact attorney Antine and lie and to present a false picture and to actually flat out lie and say, well, Van J is collecting money for his stuff. What would be in their mind? What is the motivation? What is the modus operandi of individuals like that? And I'm telling you, brother, as your older brother, you better listen to me. Listen to me. It's jealousy. It is the fact that your name is synonymous when it comes to this YouTube stuff with my cousin's name. Your name is synonymous with his name. You cannot speak about advocacy and R. Kelly advocacy without bringing up Dana J. This girl calling me Jesus Christ. Without bringing up Dana J. Understand something. Your name is synonymous. My name. And I'm not, I can give less than a damn about that. But my name is synonymous. Leave off of Kelly. Is one of the, if not the strongest channel advocating for him. So, what do people do in a rap game? In a rap game, you have a rapper, a uh, local rapper, in his basement, uh, cutting joints or whatever, and he says, whoa, I know how to get on. I'll come at the top person, the top rappers in the rap game. 
I'll come at them. I'll put a song out this and them. Now, the rappers that's intelligent don't even respond. You ain't going to be no damn local rapper in your basement with a couple of, uh, 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 what's it called, pro tools and shit, and put a song out about Jay-Z and Jay-Z respond to that shit, put a song out about Nas and Nas respond to that shit, put a song out about Drake and Drake respond to that shit. Hell no. Now, I tell you what, when you get your weight up and you really get out there with some numbers, like Takashi 6 9 was doing, pulling down them millions and millions, and you say something about one of those rappers, they might respond to your ass. <laughs> they may. They'll tell you respond to this little nigga. You real? Right. But for the most part, they ain't responding to that, bro, and that's where we at with this. And I'm not bragging when I say that. Shout out Sugar and Spice. You feel me? I love you. You know I do, dear. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Faze the next level. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, bro, I'm going to say it again. We're not responding to that. We're doing what we do. Now, just like in my cousin's case, where he did this, he got to present the fact, damn it, put it on the table. And I say that the same way I say anybody that's saying that we are on social media saying send money to me, don't say it. Put it out there. Show me in my videos where I said send money to me, to Levi, for my cousin's legal defense fund. Either you put the hell up or you shut the hell up. But at the same time, I'm not tripping. I don't care. Come, do, do your little stuff in the basement with your little pro tools, nigga. Do that. Do that. But, but, but you won't get me to respond to you and go uh, lip raffle with you, tongue raffle with you, bro. I ain't got time for that. We're too busy doing everything within our power to gain my, to, to assist Attorney Anton and uh, Attorney Greenberg and others in making sure that my cousin is released from that hellhole that he's in. Making sure that he receives justice. And brother, I'll say this to you with all love, Dana. Anything that we allow to sidetrack us from that objective and that mission, we're doing my cousin a disservice, bro. We're doing him a huge disservice, even wasting time on that. Now listen, the dollar for the king is real. It has not been unveiled because we're waiting to hear from Attorney Anton. But once we hear from him, you watch. You watch these dollars come in from all over the world, baby. And ain't nothing y'all can do about it. I'm in a bad area, so my phone bites my my go off. Like my cousin said, well, a woman said, uh, ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Well, wait, Levi. Now, wait, go ahead, bro. He's saying, well, Dana J was saying he going to collect a dollar for the white party. Um, I said, I'm going to collect a dollar, and it's going straight to Doug Anton. By there the, you go. There the, you go. By the time the white party come around, which is next month, everything will be set up. And the thing is, when you swipe your card or when you pay for whatever card, I don't see none of that shit. It goes straight to them. But, exactly. but, Dana J of fraud, I keep forgetting Dana J of fraud, Dana, Dana J about to rent out a whole club just so people can have something to do and have fun. Oh, but Dana fraud, right? Bro, bro, I'm at a very, I'm full up to my baby school, but listen, tell me that. The proof is in the pudding. Right. Every dollar that come from the uh, dollar for the king, from your white party, all of that is going directly to Attorney Anton's legal defense fund. End of story. There's nothing else to talk about. So I'm not going to address it no more. I'm going to address, I'm going to address it on my channel one time. But after that, I ain't got nothing else to say. All I can say is that if, if there's any misappropriations, anything like that, hey, put it out there. Show the people where I'm frauding, just trying to defraud or fraud any damn body, especially a man that I love to death. It's a man that I suffer every day while he's inside that fucking place, bro. And, Go ahead. And please show where I'm frauding anybody. Please show where I'm frauding anybody. But real talk. Exactly. I keep saying it. But they're going to push me to a point where I'm going to open up my whole inbox and people's whole mouth going to drop. Don't play with me on that type of category. I don't do so. I'll tell you, but listen to this. I, I got to go. I have to say this. There's a, uh, I think it was a damn 
a philosopher, a German philosopher, I forgot the name. And he said a lie told over and over and over and over again becomes the truth to people. And this is why my cousin's in that shit. The lies, the lies, the lies, the lifetime doc. You see, this lies, lies, lies. Now people believe it. Some people, not all. So, bro, we ain't playing that game. We not. I'm not talking about this no more. All the money for uh, Dollar for the King, all the money from Dana's White Party, all the dollars being donated will not be touched by us. It's going directly to... Attorney Anton for my cousin's legal defense fund, and I'm done with it, bro. Then I'm not even entertaining no more dumb stuff no more after today. I'm done. <laughs> exactly. Free. I gotta go get this boy and get this baby, man. All so, right. uh, I love you, bro, and I'll chat with you later. All right. Give me oh,